All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200. I got this man across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Clipped him with a right hand there. Punches and punches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Kick to the body is there. Nice job by Choi. Nice land. Great punch. All right, there's the leg kick you expected. He would employ them heavily here tonight, and maybe the boxer wants to go back to the sweet science after that. Yeah, he wants to box. He wants to look pretty, but this is mixed martial arts. You have got to use all of your tools. And by throwing those kicks, you are showing that this is an evolution of the fight game. He ain't boxing the squared circle. This is a mixed martial arts fight. Beautiful job. Fired in our opening round. Oh, head kick blocked though by Jones. You know that's that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Just misses with that one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Ooh, big shot, man. Good jab there, by the Just over two minutes to go. Lands a nice jab there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by the Korean Super Bowl. Lands with the lead right. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nice leg kick. Effective use of the jab there by Short. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Able to check that kick as well. One minute to go in the round. Leg kick now. Try to establish that jab. What a beautiful jab landing there. Collar tie. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, tie, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school.
charge, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this Ready cut on the fight. cheek. Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Able to rip the body there. Uppercut lands. Oh, and he lands another combination. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. Job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Trying to establish that challenge. Oh, oh he's stunned bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Left hook, right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Now some separation from this clutch position. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Under three minutes to go in round two. Punishing kick there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. That was a tremendous high kick. Jones goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Less than one. It's boxing, but hands up, chin down. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Jones gets caught with that punch. 90 seconds to go. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Good straight hand there by the Korean Super Bowl. Jones is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Both guys appeared to land there. Big left hook coming. 
bombing its block. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Oh, he gets backed up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. 20 seconds to go on two. Oh, man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Jones's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled in the Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Five, Ten minutes five. in the can. All right, so that round is in the books. Jones's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time, and ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. He's stupid. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that cut. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Leg kick lands. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Nice sub attempt. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar, the fight was done. Big round of power. Big round of power. Nice positional control here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. All oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. So you have a fighter who's clearly outmatched. Picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. with that right hand. Beautiful kick lands there. He's just being more aggressive and because... Oh! Oh! Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. The Korean Superboy going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Johnny Bone. About two minutes here to go in round three. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Stay active. Jones is back in half guard. 
big right hook there by the champ. Takes his back now. Oh, right into Mount. This is where he wants to be. Short time now in the round. Choice is able to flatten him out. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Choice right back to the full mount here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more... Oh! He got him! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. <laughs> And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.